Hey, I'm Richie. This is Rapid Update, where I show you everything as quick as possible with the new patch in Fortnite Creative. So let's get right into it. So we have four new tree galleries, uh, two snowy ones, one normal one and one that is more colorful. We also have new snowmen. These are pre-built. We also have a full gallery of custom parts where you can build your own snowman family, depending on what you're on. Uh, we also have some nice looking wall decals. Very important to say is that these are not uh, transparent at all. They have um, a kind of background and you can place them on walls, you can place them on the floor, uh, but you can obviously not place them on uh, transparent backgrounds because you will see the um, transparent thing behind that. So uh, keep that in mind if you're using these. We also have uh, four, uh, two, uh, three, we have three, only three, three new uh, items. We have the scoped uh, assault rifle, we have the harpoon gun, and we also have the gold coin or gold in general. You can use this to uh, put in vent vending machines. It's basically just like wood, stone or metal, but it's looking more like an actual currency. So you can use it for that. We have a lot of new devices and uh, two of them are, the first one is the uh, map indicator, which is basically something where you can create points of interest and how this works, you basically put in the text on here, let's say, okay, boomer, and you can see that it's showing up on the minimap. So it's a very cool item, very cool for zone wars, etc. So the next one is the timed objective, and this one is basically like a timer, uh, but it's a lot more usable. So you can copy and paste it, obviously. You can show up uh, the timer on your map. You can, you know, kind of build around it and then have only the timer showing up. You have urgency modes where it's going to warn you it's like five seconds left and then it's going to blink up and all that kind of stuff. You can have text popping up on the screen with the thing. And it's basically a, an advanced version of the timer. So our next device, which is also new, is the Illumination Manager. This one is also an advanced version of something we already have. So basically what this thing is doing, you can send a signal when someone gets eliminated. But this thing can do a lot of more. You can have number of items dropped. You can have tossed items. You can have all kind of stuff in here. Uh, it's basically just an advanced version of the thing that we already have in the inventory uh, team and settings device or how whatever it's called. So the next device is not new, but it's renamed and got two very important options to it, which is allow weapon fire uh, and allow building. So before that, the thing was called the weapon free zone, I think, and uh, you could basically do nothing in it. Now you can change it up. You can have only building, you can only have only fire, whatever, or you can have uh, both of them. So depending on what you want to create with this zone, uh, you can have all kind of cool effects. You also have an, a setting, which is when the player enters the zone or leaving uh, is leaving the zone, you can send a signal, which is also very cool. So the next change is coming to the barrier and the barrier basically got only one setting change, which is the zone shape. Uh, you can send that to a uh, hollow or normal. The normal one is just the normal one and the hollow one is basically removing the first uh, tile that you're looking at. So you can see that this one is removed and also this one. And if I go around here, this one is back. So uh, yeah, you cannot walk through it. If, you, I if I would start the game and I would try to walk through it, you cannot walk through it. So the next thing which got a lot of changes is the uh, capture area device. And this one got so many changes. I will definitely not explain everything. I will explain none of them actually. So they got so many changes. So if you're into that device, then definitely check it out. It got so many changes and I'm not sure where to start. So it's very cool. So the next thing that we got is the U damage power up or damage amplifier power up. So it's called U damage because it's from Andre tournament. And this thing basically, if you collect it, uh, you get increased damage. So um, you can hurt people a lot more. And for our last change, we have the uh, damage volume. There's the same setting as we had before, where if a player leaves or enters the area, you can send a signal, which is very cool. Okay, <clears throat> obviously I forgot the most important thing and that is the uh, new UI. It is looking insane now. It's getting so much easier to find stuff now. It will get, you know, a little bit of time to get used to it, uh, but it's obviously a lot easier to just click and, uh, you know, kind of select all the stuff you want to have. Obviously all the devices also have changes. Um, I give you guys one tip and that is if you want to, for example, have just a couple options, like for example, if I would just want to change the zone, uh, whatever that, that and that, I just click on that and then I can go on these on the star option here and then I will only have these selected. So you can kind of pick out which ones you need and then you can you know move them over and uh, you know, change them. It's very easy, very cool. And um, yeah, 
the new UI is awesome. And that's basically it. Hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.